My mom lies a lot. I don't think she even knows she's doing it. She states that she does not remember shooting my father, but she does remember calling 911. I know for a fact from family members and the police report that she was not the one that called 911. It was the neighbor. Well, Lace says her mother is lying about the 911 call and about being chased by her father with a knife because her father's fingerprints weren't anywhere on that knife. But Debbie says she was attacked and so she shot her husband four times in self-defense. I'm a survivor of domestic abuse. My husband, Dominic, hit me more times than I could count over the course of 13 years. Three months after we got married, he physically abused me. He would wake me up in the middle of the night with his hands around my throat and say to me, I could kill you and throw you in the ditch and nobody would ever know the difference. One of the worst beatings that he gave me was when I was pregnant with my daughter. He picked me up by my shirt, held me up against the wall, and he hit my head. Another time I was holding my daughter Lace, and he hit me on the left side of my eye and busted it wide open. The next morning, my head had bled so much it was stuck to my pillow. I still have the scar, it's right here. I was afraid to call the police on Dominic because it made him angry. And when you make an abusive man more angry, only more abuse follows that. Well, Debbie claims the abuse had been going on for years. So what made the day of the shooting different than any other day? Well, take a look. The night of the shooting, we had a disagreement and he took the keys to the truck and would not let me go to work. I brought him his supper while he was sitting in his recliner. I was still trying to convince him to give me the keys. He got up and he had a butcher knife in his hand. He looked at me and said, bitch, you're gonna taste the gates of hell. When he said that, I snapped. I can remember going to the gun cabinet and there was a 38 pistol. I started shooting. Things just kind of went fuzzy and black. In the process of all this, I got cut on my left arm. There was a lot of blood on the floor and it was my blood. I don't know how the cut on my arm happened. Had I not called 911, he would have probably died in the yard. You don't pull a knife on somebody and say, you're gonna send them to hell. You either act in self-defense or you lay down and you get killed. That's not me. I fight back. Lace and I have a very difficult relationship because she doesn't remember the abuse her father inflicted. I think that my daughter was manipulated to believe one thing, mama was wrong and daddy's right. My daughter definitely believes a lie because she believes this man was a good man and this man was evil. Evil is the day is long. If I had to defend my life again, I would. Well, Debbie, thanks for joining us. You're You've been welcome. listening to everything so far, right? Yes, sir. Why'd you shoot this man? He man. pulled a knife on me and told me I was going to taste the gates of hell, and I snapped. Mm -hmm. Did you shoot him four times or seven times? I shot seven, and he got hit four. What were you wanting to accomplish by shooting him? Were you wanting to kill him? I didn't, I didn't set out to shoot him. What, you shot seven times? I did from two different guns. I did. He frightened me. I thought he was gonna kill me that night.